Surveys are a great way to gather information from prospects and supporters. Answering a survey question can trigger a workflow, connecting the responder immediately with the right people in your organization. There are three parts to creating a survey. First, you create the survey and the questions. Next, you define the answer choices. Finally, you create a survey page to house the survey online. Create the survey and the questions. Go to People, More, and select Surveys. Click on Add New Survey. Type in the name of your survey. Click the Create button. Next, create your first question. First, create a slug for the question. This is a short way of identifying the question topic and must be unique from page slugs and usernames. If you include spaces in the slug, they will be replaced by underscores. Type the full question in this space and include a question mark. This is how your question will be displayed on a connected survey page. If you need to explain your question beyond the initial sentence, use this space to create an introduction or explanation. The text written here will display before the answer choices. Display possible responses to the survey taker in random order. This is how responses are displayed on a connected survey page. This can help alleviate the possibility that response order has an effect on whether it is chosen. If you uncheck the box, then the response order you determine will be the same for everyone taking the survey. Question format. Multiple choice. You can list as many responses as desired. Responder can only select one response. Yes or no. This creates a multiple choice question with yes and no response options. Responder can only select one response. Text. This is a free form text field. Status. Questions will not be published on your website until the survey is connected to a survey page. Tag people who answer this question with. This adds a tag to everyone who responds to the question, regardless of their response. With multiple choice and yes-no questions, you can also tag people based on which response they choose. Click the Save Survey Question button to save the question. Define answer choices. The one required field on this screen is response. This is the answer choice displayed on a survey page. After writing response, you can click the Add Possible Response button to save the response and add another one. Under Actions, you can trigger a workflow within your nation when a response is selected. These actions occur within your control panel and are not displayed to the responder. Tag people who choose this response with. A tag or tags to add to the profiles of people who choose the response. Set the point person for people who choose this response too. If a responder already has a point person, their point person will not change. This only affects people who do not have a point person when they respond to the question. Membership type and expire membership. Provide a responder with a membership and decide when it expires. This can be particularly useful for creating a time-limited group of people who choose the response. Add this person to a path. Click Add Possible Response if you've added any of these actions. At the bottom of the screen, you will see all the responses. You can drag and drop existing responses to change their order. Once you move a response, the letters will update to reflect the new order. You can also edit possible responses by hovering over and clicking Edit, or delete responses by clicking on the arrow. Once you've created all possible responses for a question, use the breadcrumbs at the top of the control panel to return to the survey and add a new question. When looking at a list of questions, you can drag and drop the questions to change the order they are asked in. On a survey page, the first question cannot be skipped. All other questions can be. You can also edit questions by hovering over and clicking Edit, or delete questions by clicking on the arrow. Within an individual question, you can add a new response in the Responses section. The responder must already have a profile in your nation and can be found via their name, email address, or Twitter handle. Any previous responses will be listed on the bottom of the screen and can be edited or deleted. Create a survey page. Use the survey page type to display a survey on your website. You can then collect responses to the survey online. Navigate to Website, select your site, and click Add New Page. Give the survey page a name. The slug will auto-populate. You can change it if you like. Click Show All Page Types and select Survey. Decide whether or not you'd like the page to be in Top or Supporter Navigation and click Create Page. You'll land on Survey Settings. Select the survey you wish to display from the drop-down menu. If you'd like folks to be redirected to another page after submitting their survey answers, enter the page slug under When Finished, What Page Should They Land On Next? Under Actions, you can once again choose to tag responders, assign a point person, assign membership, or add responders to a path. When you're finished, click Save Settings. When you're ready to publish your survey, click Publish at the top of the page. Results. Once people have responded to the survey, you can see all survey results in the results area of the survey. You can export survey results using the Export area. Click the Start Export button and a CSV export will be generated. At first, it will say Export Pending, then the file name will appear. 
Click on the file name that appears below the export button to download your export. The CSV will include the responder's nation builder ID, first name, last name, amounts of social capital, and responses to each question. The questions will be listed by their slugs.